to Ryan Laney for his innovative adaptation and deployment of AI-driven facial veiling technology to protect the identities while preserving the humanity of the subjects in the 2020 documentary, Welcome to Chechnya. The Academy presents an award of commendation. Nervous. Um, I'm thrilled to be here and to be recognized for this contribution and to be among uh, so many accomplished colleagues. Uh, the other work here tonight and from last year is just am amazing to be part of this group. So um, thank you. Um, and to the members of the Academy who contribute your time every year to consider the excellence of so many projects, uh, I'm honored that our work even gained your attention, um, and I'm humbled that you found it worthy of uh, this award, um, which affirms our hard work uh, to carefully advance the use of the ethical use of visual effects in nonfiction storytelling. I'm proud to have been part of a project that, um, through solving its problems, we found a new way to present witness testimony. Um, thank you to David France for the imperative to tell these young people stories without obscuring their humanity. Um, his art for journalism showed the atrocities through uh, uh, powerful situations that would have been possible to convey from the normal witness shadows. Uh, I think Alice Henty, the producer, and everyone at Public Square Films who, along with David, saw promise in a crazy idea and then ventured with me down an untread path. Uh, thank you to Johnny Hahn, the visual effects producer who made the uh, introduction to Public Square Films and who oversaw the data acquisition that uh, part of that camera set up that uh, was there. Um, and to Abraham Luna, uh, the actor who sat in for our initial uh, data test, data capture test, and um, became the veil for Maxim. Uh, and of course to Maxim with, um, for without his bravery and challenging the state of Chechnya, these abuses may never have come to, to public light. Um, I thank all the young people who agreed to be veiled and all of the volunteers who uh, served as their human shields. Um, I also want to acknowledge, acknowledge uh, academia um, and specifically um, our researcher Ying Lao and team whose paper on attribute transfer uh, gave us the notion for using faces like art for the purpose of style transfer. Um, our use of these kinds of neural networks enabled us to create authentic truthful representations of, uh, that which can convey complex emotions and create a more meaningful and impactful connection between the subjects on the screen and the audience. Um, while employing these new ideas, uh, we did so within a standard visual effects pipeline. Um, it's a workflow that's crafted over the years um, uh, and that I've witnessed it amazing, with amazing teams and uh, amazing studios um, uh, throughout my career. Uh, it is the producers and supervisors and facility pipeline groups at these studios who, along with the academy, spend a great deal of time and, and um, thoughtfulness in setting the standards of excellence for the way we move data and picture. Um, uh, Eugen uh, Brunig, who was uh, the producer on the film, um, ar archive producer who stepped in to visual effects to bridge the gap between visual effects and documentary filmmaking. Um, and last, certainly not least, to the woman who um, convinced me that anything is possible um, and taught me the value of perseverance, uh, not to give up on things. My mom, who's here with us tonight. Um, about 25 years ago, she said, when you, when you win an Academy Award, I have my dress picked out. <laughs> so um, you look marvelous. Um, I'm proud to be part of a tradition of innovation and um, supporting the art of storytelling. Um, and through that innovation, uh, we have pushed boundaries and, and have changed what's possible on screen. Uh, so thank you.